This video is the fourth in a series that shows you the basics of how to set up WebDoc Security Model. In this video, you'll learn about folders and subfolders and how you create folders to help secure documents. The instructions in this video assume that you have installed, licensed, and configured WebDocs Windows Edition and that you have watched the videos WebDocs Windows Edition Security and Overview, WebDocs Windows Edition Users and Groups an Overview, Creating a User, and adding a user to a group. Now that you set up users and groups, you need to control which documents those users and groups can access. In WebDocs, you do that primarily with folders. Documents are stored in folders. However, unlike folders in a computer directory, WebDocs folders are not there to help you find documents. Instead, WebDocs folders are used for security. You can store all the documents a specific user or group needs in one folder, then grant that user or group access to the folder. You may also need layers of security. For example, you might have some accounts payable documents that you want the entire department to see and other accounts payable documents that have restricted access. You can create these layers of security using subfolders. If a user or group has access to a folder, they do not have access to a subfolder within that folder unless you give them access. So you can set up a folder, Accounts Payable, and give the group, Accounts Payable, access to that folder. Then you can create a subfolder, Accounts Payable Secure, within the Accounts Payable folder that only the group, Accounts Payable Supervisors, can see. Here's how to create folders and subfolders to meet your security needs. First, log into WebDocs as an administrator. Click the Documents tab. Click Root Folder to create a top-level folder. And click Add Folder. In the New Folder page, type a name for this folder. Then click Save. We get a confirmation message and the folder is created. You can see a map of the folder structure to the left. Repeat these steps to add as many folders as you need. Once you've created a folder, you can add subfolders to it. To create a subfolder, click the name of the folder you want to add a subfolder to, then click Add Folder. In Folder Name, type the name of the subfolder. Click Save and the subfolder is created. In a later video, you'll learn how to grant users and groups access to the folders and subfolders you created by using permissions. Now that you know how to create folders and subfolders, continue to the next video where you'll learn about document types. Thank you.